to first graders, I asked you guys to come to the carpet today because we are gonna try out a level G book. It's called The Counting Race. And this is about a first grade class, Mrs. Connor's first grade class. And she has a challenge for them. She says like, do you want a race? And they're like, wait, what kind of race? Running race? Um, they're like, what kind of race is it? And she's like, no, not a running race, a counting race. So they have a challenge to see if they can count to 10 in one second. So can you imagine that? Can you try to count to 10 in one second? Do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, Wait, that was for the one second. We can't do it that way. So let's read to find out if Mrs. Connor's class can figure out how to count to 10 in one second, okay? Before we start reading, I wanna show you two parts. I wanna show you a word that's kind of a longer word. It's the word together. Can you say together? Together. Together means we do something all at the same time. Can you say all at the same time? All at the same time. Okay. Another word I want to show you, appreciate. Let me find it here. Right here. Appreciate. Can you say appreciate? Appreciate. Appreciate means like you're grateful for them or you're like thankful for them. So it's like I appreciate you or I'm so thankful for you. Okay. So those are some words I wanted to point out to y'all before we read. But now we're ready. I'm going to put it in front of you and you can start. And when I um, come up to you, I want to hear you read out loud. Okay. Today, said Is it a girl or a boy? Yeah, there you go. Remember her name? Connor. Yeah, Mrs. Connor. Where are you at, Christopher? Ooh, what are they doing? They're having a a race, right? Way to look at the picture for meaning. Can you take off the ending? Cover the ending, and what's that word? Okay, put the ending back on. But take the ending off again. What's that word? Great. So now, ed makes that duh or t. Let's try it. Ready? Asked or asked? Okay. Let's read it again. Get a running start from the beginning. How do you think he might say that? Or how do you think she might say that? Maybe like, sorry, Neil. Like, she might feel bad for him, huh? So maybe you could change your voice to act like you're feeling bad for him. Try it. Sorry, Neil. Can't wait to where you are. You remember that blend? Okay, so that's the ending. So it sounds like you have the first part is what? I R together can make the R sound, so fur. Now add the. First. Okay, read it from the beginning. That's a name. His name is Michael. Pick up your 
Does that make sense? No. Okay, try it another way. Can I can can all close in the faces? Oh, sorry, Connor. Connor, yeah, remember her name is Mrs. Connor? Perfect. You know what you just did? You tried it two ways. Like, you know that an O makes an A sound yes. and it makes an O sound. Um, Keep up that good work. Check it. I like how you're you're putting separating it. So what can we separate it even further and like cover what's like the first blend there? G and R. What sound does it make when G and R is together? Can I help you here? Okay. So G R. I'll put your finger right there, where I did. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So grr, you got it started, right? So now let's look at the next part. Can you read it again? <laughs> what if we try to break it up in a different way? So like sometimes we break it up in one way and it may not work. What if we just take off the last two letters? What word is that? Do you remember a silent E at the end sometimes makes the like vowel say its name? Like, let's see. So what's the vowel here? A. So what sound would it make? A. Okay, so now let's say it. Grr, aid, grade. Now put that ending on. E R. Mm -hmm. What are our endings we know? Remember, it's one of our endings we've learned. Grade. All the first grade. All the first grade. Grade. All the first grade. All the first graders. There you go, right on. Got. Can you point to where you are, please? Where are you reading at? What word are you stuck on? What word are you stuck on? Which way? Oh, that's actually a name. Can I tell you his name? Eigen. Yeah, kind of a different name, huh? Eigen. Yep. Can you take off the ending of this word? Work on this. Remember the vowel team? OU. What sound does OU make? Can you say this picture, please? Okay, so what sound does OU make in house? Oh, right. So let's use that on this word. Can you read it out loud so I can hear what you're thinking? Reading just that part. Ready? First sound, go. What sound does this make at the beginning of a word? Ow. Yeah, we count, add that ending on. 
We count add or what would make sense? Does that make sense? We count add? Okay, so let's change that a little bit so it makes sense. We count. Yeah, so the end it. We counted. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Keep going. We counted. Is that your second time reading it? Is that your second time reading it? Okay. All right, I'm going to have you guys come back together. If even if, if even if you didn't quite get to finish, you can put your book down right in front of you. Because that's quite all right. Okay. So first graders, I have some questions for you, okay? So first of all, did Mrs. Connor's class, were they able to complete the challenge? Thumb up or thumb down? Were they able to count to 10 in one second? Thumb up or thumb down? Okay. So you're saying, yes, they were able to count to 10. How did they do that? Put your thumb up if you want to like respond right here. Put your thumb up on your knee. How, how, how did they do that? One of them counted by twos. They count by twos? Did that work out? Yeah. Did that work out? Do you agree? Is that how they were able to count by, um, yes. to get to 10 in one second? Can you show me the page where they did that? <coughs> See who can get to it. Oh, you got it, right? Awesome. So on page 26. Very good. So they did. How did they count by twos? Two, Two four, four, six, six eight, eight, ten. Eight. But they must have did it really quick to get it in one second. Yeah, okay, so close your books. So like at the beginning of the story, Mrs. Connor gave them a challenge. How do you think that Mrs. Connor, um, how would you think the class as first graders, like how would you feel if I were to say, okay, count to 10 in one second, like how would you feel? How do you think the characters in the story felt at the beginning of the story? How do they feel at the beginning? Yeah, Samaria. So I will feel like a kind of a little bit happy if that's You might be like a little happy or excited. You'd be excited for the challenge. Shy. You might feel shy about the challenge. Yeah. What about you? Happy. You you would feel happy. What's another word for happy? Excited. Excited. Sure. What, how about you? Yeah. 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 Might be a little intimidated. I might feel a little intimidated if I were presented with that challenge. So then like as they were practicing and like going through the story, they're I feel like they might have like started excited a little bit fearful or shy or nervous. But at the end, how do you think they must have felt since happy they were able to complete it? Happy for of their friend. Yeah, they could be happy for their friend for sure. How do you think like they felt like inside? Hmm. So Mario? They kind of feel like, like a kind of like, like smiling yeah, of, of, of counting. You like saw on their face that they were smiling. Like when you accomplish something, sometimes it makes you feel proud. Can you say proud? Proud. Yeah, I thought they were so proud of themselves. Very good. So I was reading with all of you all and I noticed something that I think we could all benefit from. Like when you have a word that maybe seems like a little overwhelming and you see an ending that we're familiar with, kind of like these endings, it may be helpful to like break it off. Just like break it off. Like even in the title, if you look at the title, if we just chop off the ing, can you do that? Can you just chop it off? And then you can figure out the first word is count and then take it off and put it back, back together. Counting, counting, right? So a strategy I want to work, I want you all to practice in all your books is like breaking off the endings of your words and then like putting them back together because they certainly, do not just like go away, right? So I'm gonna give you a little symbol to help you. It's like tearing a piece of paper and that can help remind you to like break off the endings of your words. Well, we are ready for number G. We're practicing for it, right? Absolutely. So let's see. I want us to look at some endings that were in our story as I'm making these, okay? so. I want us to first break off the ending. What's his first word? Grand. What's his first word? Grand. Grand. 
what's the ending? I see it. E R, which makes the R sound. So, greater or greater? Which one? Greater, right? Okay, so now let's look at the second word. What is the first part of the word? Can we break off the ending? Fast. Fast. Okay, what's the ending? Er. Faster. So the word is? Faster. Very good. So, last one. Are you ready? Can you cover the ending for us? Okay, that's a lot. Can you guys figure out that part? Yeah. To give. To give. Okay, now put er. that ending back on. Er. er. Very good. I mean, like, all of them have an E-R at the end. They do. And guess what? Those were actually words that you guys read today so in your book. So repeat, repeat they're repeated. Yeah, they are. They're repeated in your book. Okay, so first grade, y'all have a lot of work to do, and we're going to keep practicing, like, this level of book. But don't forget to break off the endings of your word and then put them back on, okay? You guys can go back and start reading.